Software Spring Presence How to use PV in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to the tutorial on the PV function. Here are some points about PV. PV stands for Presence Value. PV returns the present value of a future amount of money. Alright, here's the format of the PV function. Here's an example. Rate is the interest rate, in percent, per compounding period. Number of periods, is the number of compounding per year, multiplied by term. Payment amount, is the amount paid per period. In this example, it is zero, because of the lump sum investment. Future value is optional, and is the remaining value after the last payment. End or beginning is optional. It has a value of zero, if the payment is due at the end of each period. It has a value of one, if the payment is due at the beginning of each period. If this attribute is omitted, zero is used as the default. Going forward, here is a PV project. Calculate the amount you should invest today, in an FD, with 5.30% interest, compounded quarterly, to buy a product, whose price after 3 years will be about rupees 50,000. Alright, let me type the data, for the project, in this table. First, let me format this cell, for displaying the interest rate as percent. Click the percent symbol. OK, for the interest rate, type 5.30. For the term, type 3. For the number of compounding periods per year, type 4, because of the quarterly compounding of interest. For the number of periods, we have to multiply the number of compounding periods per year, by term. So, type equal to, and click this cell. Type the multiplication operator, star. Click this cell, and press enter. For the payment amount, type 0, because of the lump sum investment. For the future value, type 50,000. For end or beginning, type 0, assuming payment is due at the end of the period. Alright, let's type the present value formula in this cell. First, type equal to, P, V. Select PV from the menu. For the rate, click this cell. We have to convert the interest rate, to interest rate per compounding period. So, type the division operator, and click this cell. Type comma. For the number of periods, click this cell. Type comma. For the payment amount, click this cell. Type comma. For the future value, click this cell. Type comma. Lastly, for the end or beginning, click this cell. Press enter. There you go. The PV function has returned the present value of the future amount of money. That is, the amount you should invest today, to get this amount 3 years from now. The minus sign represents cash outflow. If you wish to remove the dollar symbol, click this cell. Click this down arrow. Click number. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.